Hello guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model a family, a door, a sliding um, garage door. Um, it can be open and closed. So, open, close. Okay, and also you can change the, um, I think you can change the number. Where is the number? Here, uh, here. Um, I think I forgot to, oh, yes, it's here, I think. Oh, <laughs> finally, here. Yeah, so we can change the number of the panels and and also, um, so this is, should be the radius of that uh, corner, the, the, the track, and also height, uh, the overall width. Um, okay, so let's start. So first, um, I'm going to create a new, let's create a new family. Okay, so um, we can directly create a door family. Um, so it'll be door. Okay, so open. Okay, so as door family, so this is a door family template. So um, maybe uh, we don't need these, um, these frames. So, um, Okay, so now we have an opening in the wall. Okay, so this is a wall and this is, is an opening. So first we need to just go to floor plan. So have a look. So we have a width parameter already here. And if, if you go to elevations or exterior or interior, so you will see we have a height. And because there's a, it's, a, it's a sliding door, we don't need these swings. So let's just delete them and i'm not sure about this dimension looks like we can't delete this one how about this one oh, i'll just we will just leave them okay so so we have this height parameter as well so now let's start so first um we need to uh, let me think okay so maybe I'll, uh first let's make it wider a little bit wider okay so it's easier so uh, I'll make it three meter. Okay, so now we need to decide how many panel we need. Okay, so I'm going to create a reference plan, so RP. And so this will be the width of one panel. So I'm going to just dimension this. So I'll call, let's create a parameter for this one. So maybe call it a panel width. And I'm going to use um, uh, instance. Oh, should be the same. Just, oh, just, just use instance parameter. Okay, so we have panel width, and then um, we need another parameter. So that will be a number of panels. So I'm going to just go to family types, create a new parameter. So it will be. It need to be a number. Oh, sorry, in integer. Because we can't have you know 2.3 pa uh, panel, for example. So um, let's call it number instance as well. So, okay, and okay, I'll just type in a number for now. So for example, five. So with this number and the overall width, we can calculate the panel width, right? So I'm going to go back to the dimension on the dimension the panel width. I'm going to use the width divided by number. So this will give us a panel width. Okay, so click OK. So now you will see the panel width becomes 600 because you know, five panel uh, overall width, three meter. So each panel uh, it will be 600 mil. So we can, um, um, so what's the next step? I think we can do, uh, uh, we we can we can create a panel now, so but I'm not going to create an extrusion here because it's 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 a bit hard to um, array this extrusion and um, it's easier to use nested family. So I'm going to create a panel family. Okay, so let's go file new. Oops, sorry, wrong one file new family 
So I'm going to, for this door panel, so actually I'm going to just use the generic model template. Um, you can use a door as well, but if you create a door, it will become a wall based. So, but in this situation, we, we only need a, a door panel. We don't need, want it to be a wall based family. So create a generic model. So if you want to, you can, you can change the category here. Oh, sorry, the wrong one. Uh, you can go to family category and the parameter to change this from generic model to a door. But if you are not going to uh, sh uh, create this panel uh, as a shared family, it's, I think generic model should be fine. So, okay, so we can start to build this panel. So first create some reference plan, so RP, okay, and dimension. Oops, uh, will be, you need an equal. So if you want to have, you know, this center reference plan, okay? So equal and, okay. So this one uh, will be the panel width. So I'm going to just call it a W width and um, it should be the same. Let's just use instance and this one uh, this one will be depths. I'll call, I'll, call, I'll call it D and the instance as well. And um, okay, I think that's it. And then let's go to front view because we need a height parameter. So RP again. So reference plan DI dimension it. So let's call this parameter H. Okay, so for height instance, it's the same for this exercise but let's just uh, be uh, consistent okay so now we can go back to floor plan and we can create a, an extrusion so use a rectangular what's this called rectangle and draw it on this reference plan so you can directly click on this lock so the shape of this profile so will be locked onto these reference plans. And also we need to go to the front view, finish this extrusion. So I can just lock this onto that, the height. So you don't really need to lock this one because it will always be there. Okay, so start from zero. Okay, so this is it. Let's have a look in 3D view. So this is a door panel. So of course we need to probably, we just need to change this number. So for example, depth, I'm going to make it, uh, for example, uh, uh, 30, for example. And height, um, maybe 2400. Width, let's make it 600. Apply, now it's more like a panel. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can add a parameter for material as well. And I think that's that's it. Okay, so now we can load this into, so I'm going to just directly load into the the previous uh, family, so here. So I'm going to place it roughly here, and then I'm going to use a line, a L align this door panel onto the reference plans. So first, let's have a look. So this is exterior. So I'm imagining um, this sliding door will be sitting inside okay so inside this wall and then go from here and then there will be a track so turn 90 degree go there so so what i'm going to do is i will use this reference plan to align uh, so al click on this reference plan and click on this door panel and then lock it okay so and also i want to use so this time um now let me try, so this reference plan, so use this reference plan, because I think this reference plan will always um, be sitting on the surface, interior surface of wall. So for example, let's try to click on this wall, and if I change this wall thickness, so to uh, 200, so you will see this reference plan still sit uh, along with the interior face of this wall. So now let's A, L, pick, Try to pick this reference plan. So use your tab key and pick on. Oops. So it seems, um, I think it's probably 
because we use instance parameter for that door panel, um, which creates some issue. Let's control Z. Because um, in this family, all the panels will be the same size. So maybe it's it's better to let's go back and go to fam floor plan to change this parameter from instance to type. So there's two options. You can either go to family type, select individual one and edit, or you can go select them in the floor plan and uncheck this. Uncheck, oops. So it doesn't work. Uncheck this. Maybe you need to do it individually. And also go to the front, front view as well. So maybe uncheck. So now they are all type parameter. So let's load this back into that the first parameter and override. So now let's do it again. A L tab, click on this door. Yep. And a click. Now this panel will be always be here. Okay. So now the next one we need to array. So we need the five panels. So select this door panel A R. So uh, I'm usually I like to when I array I like to just to move it away from the. So this is it need to be, but I like to array it to here. And then, so finish this array, and you can select this number. So click on this, and then under here, you can change this to that um, number parameter. So now we have five. So we know that the first, so this, this panel is being, has been, um, locked onto this reference plan and also this reference plan. So what we need to do is we just need to lock the second one onto this one and also this horizontal uh, reference plan as well. Okay, so use A, L, pick this and lock this onto here. Another one, so pick this reference plan and lock. And then that's it. Okay, so let's have a look in 3D view and this is it and it looks like the heart is not correct so we just need to select one of this uh, array group group edit group select this um, family this panel and go to edit type so in here so we need to link this one h okay so height to the height and also we need, need to link the depths so currently we don't have or i think we have a thickness Door. Yeah. So this is the parameter, the default parameter for door family. Okay. So when you use a door family template, there will always be a thickness. You can use that one. And for width, so we're going to link this to the panel width. So we did, we, we, we added, okay, previously. And I'll click OK, and then you will see all the panel will match the opening height. Okay. So this is um, half of this family because we want to open it, right? So and so first let's have, have a test. So if I change the height, so for example, 10 to 400, these panels should match, go up, okay? So to match the opening, right? And also if I want to change the, so for example, number of panels, so if I go down here, if I change this to five, it should change to five, but still keep the overall width. And this is the overall width. So if I change this to four, so for example, 4.5 meter. So you will see it's still all the panels will match the overall width, right? Change to six and okay, so that's it. So now the next step is, um, we're going to add a track, add a track on the floor. So this will be quite uh, easy actually. So uh, we can just use um, do a sweep. And but before that, I think it's probably easier to use reference line. So let's do it. So reference line, and I'm going to pick. So just check the work plan first. So current, the current work plan is reference level so which is the ground floor level if that's a floor plan so yeah all good and then we just need to draw a line so from this end to this end 
but we want to um, let's just do it. We need we need to lock this one, lock this onto something, onto a wall face, for example, or the reference plan. So I'm going to just stop here, and now we have a a reference line here. So um, actually, this it uh, Revit just give give us two these two little icon so you can directly lock but i don't know what um, i'm locked this uh, reference line onto so maybe um it seems lock onto this reference line, but it's better to make sure so you can always do it yourself so you can do this trying to select that reference line or uh, this is not a reference line this one okay so this reference line and pick the one you want so in the control select this reference plan and also i wanted to select the other reference plan so this one so control select so now i only have um, two reference plan and one reference line selected so if i go to filter you will see these are the I items i selected and type hi so now i am sure when i do a line so i'm locked I'm locking this reference line onto the uh, word plan or reference plan I want it. Okay, so let's pick this word, uh, reference plan, pick this reference line, lock, and pick this uh, reference plan, pick this end of reference line, and lock. So that's all good. So now go back HR. We need another one. Okay, so we can just do a, um, but before I draw this reference line, because I want the length of the reference line equal the width of this door. So what I'm going to do is do a reference plan here and do a dimension from this reference plan to this one. So which we need to tab, yeah, this one. And do a dimension. And we just need to put the width so which is this one to it so now the distance from here to here will will always um, equal the width of this opening so now we can do another reference line from this corner from this corner to this reference plan so um, this time I'm going to just click on this one because there's only one reference plan here. If it, this reference line is locked onto something, it will be always this reference plan. And this one, I'm not too sure which, I think it's probably onto this reference plan, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to click on this one as well. And then last thing, we need to add an arc here. Okay, so to do the arc, we can go create, reference line and we can yet just use this one so fill it arc okay so and then um, you can just check this box and it will automatically create a radius for you so for example i'm going to just type 300 and I pick this reference line and also pick this reference line now we have a 300 uh, radius okay so and also you can click if you click on this uh, toggle join tangency and I think, and then we just need another dimension here, which is the radius. So we can add a parameter for the radius. I'll call it uh, R. And maybe maybe type is OK. Click OK, and then that's it. So now let's have a test. So if we try to, if we ch uh, change the width, so three, change to three meter, Good, and I think that's it. And uh, let, let me try try the the radius. I think that's all good. Maybe 250. And okay. So now we have this reference line. So one, two, and a three reference line. We can create a a sweep. Okay. So I'm going to use pick path because we have all these reference line. And then just uh, maybe we start from this and this and this finish and edit profile so we need to go to uh, i like to go to 3d view and then to profile okay so uh, i'll just rough 
I'm not sure about uh, the actual uh, size dimension of this uh, channel, but I'll just roughly do it here. Okay, so let's pretend this is a, a, um, a channel. So uh, I'm not sure, 50, 40 maybe. I'll just move it center to the center. All good. Okay, so now we have a channel. Uh, in the floor, maybe. Um, okay, so the next step, let me change the scale a little bit so we can uh, move this away. Uh, maybe HH, yeah, that's better. So now we have these panels, um, which it's uh, all closed, and then we want them to go here when it's opened. So let's do it. So go to floor plan. So very similar, we just need to add some extra uh, reference plans and extra dimensions. So reference plan and this dimension from here to the reference plan uh, on the interior face of the wall. And this will be the same panel width, panel, panel, panel width. Okay, so then we need another panel, so let's tab Select select the panel, okay. So CC, copy it here, and rotate RO 90 degree, and then we just need to uh, try to let me think, try to lock this. So I'm going to lock this one onto this reference plans, okay. So lock and also this so reference plan and this face and the lock. So now we have one panel here, so I'm going to use array AR. So just make sure it's second. Okay, so and do it like this. Finish, select this number, give it number, and a lot AL, the second panel, and also this reference plan and this panel. Finish. So now if I if we go to 3D view, you will see these are the panel when the door is open okay so now we just need to add some um, reference plan oh sorry <laughs> add some add a parameter and a yes no parameter so select one of uh, i think select one of the this array edit group select this panel and here we have this visible so we just need to click on this and we need to create a parameter so this is uh, when it's closed. So I'll just call it close, instance, and OK, and OK. So finish. So um, we just want to have a test. OK, so go. So you can test in the family for the visibility parameter, So which is this one, preview. And you can turn this on. And if you go to family types and uncheck this closed, and if it works, you should see it's all gone. Okay, check. All good. So if if you do not have this preview visibility uh, on, um, I think it you will see see the panel. Uh, oh, it's still there. It's not even half toned. So you need to ch have that on so you can see the difference. Okay, so it have ten. This one preview visibility. To on so you can you can see this okay so good let's turn this on so now we just need to add another one so edit edit, edit group select this family edit type oh sorry not edit type here so visible visible this time we add a new open parameter instance and okay and okay and finish so now um, we need to go to family types, go under here. So because these two parameters, so it's either he, either open or either close, right? So we just need to add a parameter. So not uh, close, and that's it. Apply and OK. So you will see, and if you check this one, you will open, uncheck, close and click OK. 
and this is I think this is it so now let's have a uh, this is a family so if we create a project and let's have a test okay so go to family load into project and create a wall first because it's a door door family so you can only place the door family onto a wall oh hang on where's my door dr yeah here we go a door a sliding um garage door maybe and it can be opened closed and change the number of the panels and change the uh, not head high but yeah all the parameters so head the high so uh, they are type parameter so you need to change it here um, what's the uh, radius it says for the cha uh, channel for the track um, width overall width and also thickness if you want to make it thicker yeah all good so that's it uh, number eight okay so that's it um if you have any question please let me know i will upload this family for you um thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye